now I see what the boys like about fighting. I was sure Antoine had another lab, but he always said it was my imagination. A lab partner knows. Please stand by for decontamination. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab.
kiss my ass. What's this keycard doing here? I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets. I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my hand off. Formula A317. Subject is a downer from the village. Retrieved from the Garden District September 12, 1964. Test negative for plague. Think we don't matter. Just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to step out with plague. Calm down. 
this experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. What, Dr. Verloc? Tommy King still drank your fucking test tube and he was a bloody dead mushroom farm by dawn. Everybody knows we have to do something. This is something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get out of your... God! Bottoms up! God! No! Canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. Next ingredient, 
pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Please or borrow stand it. By. Well, guess enough will be in here. Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. in the fight. Your clothes are all torn. Could use a bit of money, and I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having How a few Sally specials to sell. Sally, oh, the old top you shelf. Never come by anymore. Well, Fiona. Oh, Cerberus. I. She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, 
you're going to be very proud of me. <laughs> it's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, <laughs> well, she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clip. Make ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. patriotic duty to your fellow citizen of Wellington Wells. If you can see a policeman or a doctor, you may need to take action yourself. Call what your can I do for you today? Lovely day for it. I wish this came in a different colour. Make sure he takes his joy. Once he's recovered his senses, well, you can let him go on his way. Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you ought to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. It couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robert.
shame I won't remember any of this. You do come here to forget. General? Robert? Are you still here? Please don't still be here. He'll forget. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the General. Found someone. Meet usual place. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mikey. You could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower. Afternoon. I'm risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen of White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little faith. I never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of How him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. Uh, I've been living in the Garden the District. The Garden District? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh, God. I could help you... I do know General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there. Remembering. Look. It's a horrible, terrible world out there. And no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well, there's your answer, darling. 
Oh, that hasn't been forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit.